वेलकम टू द हॉन्टेड शो टुडे आर गेस्ट इज मिस्टर सैबियो फोटाडो ही इज एन एक्सॉसिस्ट अ पैरानॉर्मल रिसर्चर एंड इन्वेस्टिगेटर एंड ही हैज ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन दिस सो मिस्टर सैबियो वेलकम टू द पॉडकास्ट इट्स लवली टू हैव यू योर आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो दैट वेर इट ऑल स्टार्ट यू नो योर जर्नी बेसिकली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी ऑन द शो या uh with me it mm-hmm. wasn't any event or anything like that that triggered me into this okay if with me it was very much gradual uh as i said right at the start i was a skeptic okay so for with me it was a very gradual process the first thing that i learned uh, when i was pretty young in life was uh, handwriting analysis okay uh how to uh, you know read a person through his handwriting how to even uh, give a therapy and how to change a person's behavior using handwriting analysis mm-hmm. then graphology into signs and signatures then i learned about face reading yeah after face reading you learn exactly when what is wrong with the creative or logical side and everything like that the quadrants and hemispheres then i learned uh, uh, nlps neuro linguistic programming how to speak with the brain and after that i learned about hypnotic mm. therapy mm. hypnotism and that is where my skepticism comes from there yeah. and that's reason i want a body of research to extend mm. more also this word exorcist so people have many opinions about it because aisa hota hai ki exorcist sunke na seedha logon ke dimag mein mainstream ek koi image aati so i just want to know ki what is your definition not a definition but what do you think about the word exorcist what does a person do when he is an exorcist someone like you exorcist is like a paranormal doctor okay he is a he is between a medical doctor and a therapist hmm simple a psychologist or a psychiatrist but something on different first let's define what is paranormal <coughs> paranormal is only it only means which is something that is parallelly running along with the normal it's a different normal okay. if it was anything over that it would be super normal yeah if it was anything substandard then it would be abnormal hmm. but paranormal is something very different it doesn't mean it is always right or it is more be beyond uh, uh, what we see in the normal phase or something that is low below that and that's reason people don't believe in this too often unless and until it, it they go through the same, through the same experience yeah. so being an exorcist is only first rem- i mean understanding what is the paranormal hmm. Hmm. right it is something very different that is happening hmm. so exorcism is nothing but just curing a demonic possession and demonic possession means it could be any disease okay. it could be a stomach pain it could be a headache and yeah. for for having a headache in the olden times if you would go to a witch doctor yeah. a witch doctor had that same jhad phook sort yeah. of a therapy yeah. even for a headache yeah. right now we know okay fine if i have a headache i don't even need to go to the doctor hmm. i might take a paracetamol and that will cure it i so, just want to know hmm. that so there are people who meditate a lot so is it like people who meditate are less likely to get possessed or something like that or people who do something uh, are less likely to get possessed yeah there are chances but then after you never know which type of demons are actually attacking you spirit attachment is voluntary it's okay. something because of you did it but a demonic possession is always forced and forced. involuntary okay. so it will happen like even a doctor also doesn't want to fall sick yeah but does it always happen like that yeah. even a doctor will fall sick. fall sick so in the okay. same way you cannot just be very complacent mm. over confident and say okay fine i'm going to a haunted location or going yeah. for a particular mm. uh, exorcism and i will not get affected by it mm. if you go with an uh, over confident brain more often than not you will be affected by it yeah so exorcism is just tackling the ailments of the spirit yeah like for example even schizophrenia bipolar mm. right these are still studied in medical science and psychiatry and there are certain um, therapies been prescribed to take care of this mm. and yet to a certain extent it is it it still stay it still remains mm. schizophrenia is still a very common i mean very complicated disease to just get out of it it mm. will not happen over a snap mm. of a finger it takes mm. time mm. so in the same way there are some things even beyond this mm. and if you know about the dsm5 mm. in psychiatry has included possession syndrome to be in it oh so now they have started acknowledging that there is something beyond schizophrenia and bipolar that can also affect okay. a person yeah. right um, even um, getting possessed by like uh, what they call it in uh, india mata ana mata ana right the mata mm. comes in all and this is not only prevalent mm. in india mm. this takes place all over the world even in africa mm. and they've started studying that and they've start put that in the new manual 
Hmm. So they have learned and they have finally acknowledged the presence of possession, hmm. which we used to do from a long time. But uh, this happens with me every time. So in my building, there's always a festival uh, when whenever Navratri is coming. Okay, and on those days when we are you know doing garba, playing garba, and this one same aunty, old age aunty, and she in the middle of the that festival, on the middle of the celebration, she gets what we call mata. Yeah. So th- is that a possession or for some time? Because that is just for like five minutes. and she just gets normal but i just want to know why is that same person every time see i will have to examine that case yeah. very personally to see exactly what is happening okay these sort of things are known as trance yeah they get into a trance like situation like uh, even in sufism there are the swirling dervishes they keep on turning 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 around and still they are not disoriented and they mm. worship whoever mm. like yeah so even over here also it might be triggered because of many different things hmm. probably because they they believe so very dearly in the the deity hmm. that is yeah. uh, around which they are dancing hmm. around it might be a, a, a result of a trigger in their own imbalances in their own dna structure hmm. right it can be a result of uh, probably hmm. of su- some brain damage it can be because of imbalances hmm. or a dysfunctional family hmm. that they need to get respect hmm. it can become anything it can be positive hmm. it can be negative as well i mean hmm. i wouldn't like to examine or correct, give my correct. verdict on any case yeah. on the basis of just somebody telling me that you know what a certain person is yeah. possessed yeah yeah because as i said every person is different, different. different. so different. most of the cases that even come to me and people mm. like to believe that they are possessed mm. they want to believe that there is a demon over them mm. and that's exactly why they are acting weirdly but when we go and act, i mean you know analyze the situation over there when we examine them mm. we get to know it is not really demonic but it is just psychiatric in nature okay so i would recommend them to you know visit a, a, a proper psychiatric and or doctor and get themselves you know mm. get well by that yeah. because those people know better how to treat that through counseling yeah. and to therapy yeah. than coming to me mm. if at all it goes beyond that and it goes in a possess- possession case mm. demonic possession that is when i there's the only few things that i will step in yeah you cannot just go to a psychiatrist and tell him you know what i'm having a headache yeah he will not be the best person he will say you know what you go to a general practitioner yeah. and that person will be better equipped to heal you rather than yeah. going to a psychiatrist straight away okay so i want to share something with you so every on every monday i am a shiva believer so i go uh, to you know on every monday i just go there in the mandir and then after that there's a people ka ped just mm-hmm. outside the mandir so i pray to that tree and then just randomly on one monday i just saw a uh, i don't know how to explain this this one uh, black uh, face with the red tongue out of it and just on the side of it there was a silver book on that and it just i realized that it wasn't just coincidental because it was placed like that it wasn't like ki waha pe kisi ne rakh diya hai wo proper it was placed like that i just want to know that how close are you to this thing to black magic and what is your opinion about this topic this black magic thing all this Why? So what you saw there, I would like yeah. to know that what you saw over there was it a vision or was it real? No, it that was real. It was it real. Was I st- still go there and the pieces of it are still there. मतलब it the book isn't there, but the pieces of that face with that black red tongue out it's still there, but the half of it and half of it is broken because there was Navratri celebration over there, so people constructed a pan pan mandap over there, so it, it just got here and there. But there's still piece of that I still see that. there might be people who i mean are indulging in all these practices okay. and they believe in this mm. and there are so many different tantrics for example even now also we are still i mean living in such a developed mm. stage there are i mean sadly there are still people who believe in human sacrifices yeah to get their prosperity or you know get rid of their problems mm. so even this also that you saw that the object placed over there it might look like a head and a yeah. red tongue come yeah. out and people use a lot of dolls and nimbu yeah. mirchi yeah. right lemon and all with lot of pins and all in that people use this for a lot of things yeah yeah so it it is their belief you cannot yeah we cannot really i mean mm. say that this really works or doesn't work mm. but yes black magic is prevalent yeah like people do interfere along with the energy field or the spirit uh, aura of people yeah and they do cause disturbances like this in you know. other people's life but then i want to know does it affect their life as well at some point of time because at that time even if they do this they might get prosperity or their own benefits from doing that but does it in some way do you think would affect their life as well at some point in future okay for this i'll like to go slightly deeper in yeah, this yeah. okay now um 
because of dr young's experiment yeah. there was a uh, dr thomas young and in the early 1900s he had done a double slit exp- experiment okay in that he he uh, created two slits in a membrane okay and he fired electrons at it okay first of all it was like firing light and see how the light diffuses behind the membrane mm. on another screen that was kept behind to measure the yeah. uh, the and then after people replicated their experiment using fi- firing electrons yeah. now when electrons get fired and when it goes behind that and getting red on that particular surface that is behind over there the uh, what they found is that to everything in life there is a matter form and there is a wavelength there is an energy form yeah okay and that changes the behavior of the electrons changed the patterns changed when they were being observed and when they were not being observed so when they were not observed they be- behaved in a very different pattern and very erratic and a very complicated pattern but when they were observed they behaved in the same way that the way you would you know hit a torch light through mm. it and how the light diffuses and in a very simple way there were three markations on that mm. so this shows that to everything in life there is an energy form and there is a matter form mm. now what we do is we believe more in the ener- uh, the, the the matter form matter we form. take care of our this body yeah. but we don't what we don't know is there is something beyond this as well mm. right everything in life has energy and matter yeah. right so in the energy form there is something known as energy and yeah. something that drives the energy which is known the motivation or the spirit yeah. or the memory of it right now i might take a uh, like for example if you say the body soul and the spirit is like hardware mm. of anything mm. right there is a energy source that is a battery of anything and then after there is a software or the os mm. the operating system of anything mm. if i put battery in a remote it will work like remote throwing infrared or bluetooth waves mm. if i put battery in a phone then it has a different functionality if i put battery in a tv or a radio it will work has a different thing mm. uh, a, a a battery in a f- uh, in a toy will behave in a different way mm. right now i know that the the, the hardware and the power is there mm. but what it is to be done is governed by the spirit or the memory mm. that is put in there the software that is put mm. in it mm. and that is what we call in in, in spiritual terms the spirit mm. fine yeah. so everything in life is like this now there is energy there are free radicals of energy that is going around mm. if i put a memory on it mm. a positive memory it might become a spirit guide or an angel mm. but if at all there is an evil memory coming on it then mm. it becomes a demon mm. it's mm. as simple as that mm-hmm. right so what these people are doing by black magic and if you're asking me does it affect them back yeah. is like they're creating a frankenstein mm. they're creating a demon mm. what they're doing is from thin air they're taking some energy and they are ascribing something evil and mm. giving it a memory mm. to affect someone else mm. but what happens after that person is affected yeah. is that frankenstein is created yeah. so more often than not that person will come back to the master to yeah. the to the source yeah. to get its next goal, goal. if you can't give the next goal then they are affected more, more. by it because now they don't know what to do and they will not even get to know mm-hmm. what they have created mm-hmm. so black magic white magic or whatever does mm-hmm. affect from the person like yeah. even prayers for that matter i mean how yeah. people say be generous be good yeah. the more you do good the more you get good, get good in return right. so when you create a good memory yeah. that memory will get back to you get quantum to you. fold yeah that affects yeah so as we talked about black magic and i told you about that old lady who's in my navratri festival every year and she gets what we call mata i want to know how is uh, can we differentiate possession uh, from religious possession or black magic how do you differentiate that you know so religious possession mm. only takes it only in a single direction रिलीजियस पोजेशन के लिए देर विल बी ऑलवेज ओनली अ नेगेटिव कॉन्टेशन टू इट अगर पोजेस हुआ का मतलब उसको झाड़ फूक करके उसको निकालना है एंड अ लॉट ऑफ दीज माता आनाज आर नॉट लुकड अपॉन लाइक डिमोनिक पोजेशन दे आर लुकड अपॉन लाइक डेटी पोजेशन दे बिलीव दैट इज अ लॉट ऑफ डेटी इन दैट बॉडी एंड दैट पर्सन कैन प्रोडिक्ट योर फ्यूचर योर पास और गिव यू वैलिड लेसन ऑफ ऑन लाइफ राइट आउट ऑफ थिन एयर usually that doesn't really happen possession in the scientific terms mm. is only of an energy imbalance mm. or okay. a spirit imbalance in a person okay. it might be negative it might be positive mm-hmm. so in a way religious possession is possession yeah but possession is much more than what people think mm. uh i would say say about maybe a thousand years ago mm. or 2000 years ago people didn't know what a psychiatrist or a therapist is they would go to philosophers yeah they would go to a lot of uh, gurus and pandits even in india also mm. for that matter and they would get their answers 
mm. right judges probably at that point of time or they mm. would be called rajas who used to sit and then after judge what is right and what is wrong mm. but did they always have the qualification to talk about mm. uh, mental illnesses mm. probably not yeah right uh, even now also mental illnesses are a, is a very uh, ignored topic yeah right people still believe that if you slap your child yeah. he might get aligned like mm. how we used to get in our earlier mm, days yeah, yeah. than now but now we recognize mental illnesses when you need to step up or mm. when you need to back off back and up. when you need to counsel a child mm. so in the same way religious possession will mm. always remain that same way mm. same place mm. even a thousand two thousand or five thousand years ago wahan par bhi mata aati thi unko wahi ye karte the waisi treat karte the jab bhoot aata ya demonic possession hota they would be treated in the same way mm. which is done even now in the same way Hmm. and that's the reason right now there had to be an anti superstition law passed even in india hmm. to take care of any illegal activities taking place to prohibit all those things hmm. Hmm. but that is not the case in medical possession or psychiatric possessions hmm. or the scientific possessions as we call it hmm. this has been a very progressive field hmm. Hmm. we recognize possession we recognize schizophrenia we require, uh, requ- uh, recognize bipolar and all the other megalomania or whatever mental illnesses that take place hmm. we thread out the situation and we know how to heal them correctly hmm. because ultimately even that also is a sort of a possession hmm. but we've learned how to take care of that hmm. so i would say scientific possession is slightly different hmm. than religious pers- perspectives hmm. in hmm. a way that it is very progressive hmm. and day in and day out there researchers and philosophers hmm. were sitting and knowing mm-hmm. exactly what is happening what mm-hmm. are the short circuits taking place in mm-hmm. which lobe of your brain mm-hmm. and how to get it solved mm-hmm. by what medicine or what therapy mm-hmm. be it going to a psychiatrist be it going to um, mm-hmm. a spiritual guru or be mm-hmm. it going to any other person for that matter so mm-hmm. everything has to be threaded out that is mm-hmm. how different scientific possession is from religious person mm-hmm. thank you so much mr savio for this conversation i want to say that i have talk to many people about these things and you know i have talked other people also talking about these things but humme bahut mota mota idea hota hai kuch upar upar se baaton ka pata hota hai you know but you have actually told the deep knowledge about it and the nuts and bolts about all of these things and i really love the conversation thank you so much for sharing your knowledge and i'm uh, sure that audience here have loved the conversation too and gained Uh, knowledge which they can't gain from anybody else uh, so thank you so much for watching the haunted show i'm your host shivang rajpal like share comment subscribe and see you again